this project, we'll need a blank piece of paper, colored pencils or crayons, as well as a pencil with a good eraser. First thing you need to do is put your hand on your paper and use your pencil to trace around your hand and the top part of your wrist and your arm. Choose a crayon to trace the outline of your hand. Next, use a pencil to draw straight lines across your paper. You want to leave pretty good space between the lines because too many lines and you won't be able to finish the project in time. Don't worry about picking up your pencil when you cross over your crayon marks. Draw straight lines all the way through your hand. So the next thing I did, I just used my pencil to go back and on top of the straight lines inside the hand, I turned those straight lines into curved lines. So for each one of those straight lines that I see, I just added a curved line on top. And I did that all the way up, even through my fingers. The next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna use your eraser to erase those straight lines inside of the hand. Now use the same color crayon and colored pencil that you trace the outline of your hand with and trace all of the lines on your paper. Remember, the straight lines are on the outside of your hand and the curved lines are on the inside of your hand. Now you can color the sections with any colors of your choosing. You can create a pattern like I did, or you could color in between the lines with the same color. You notice how I colored inside of the hand with less pressure than I did on the outside of my hand? I want the inside of my hand to be lighter in value than the background or the outside of my hand. So you're going to use your dark crayon, either dark gray or black, or you could also use a colored pencil, but you just want to make sure that it's a pretty dark color because we're going to be creating some shading that's really going to make this pop. So what you're going to do, you're going to take that dark colored crayon or colored pencil and you're going to add color on the right side of all of the fingers and also on the hand and the arm on the right side. So if you have extra time and you really want to make it pop, you can go in and you can add a little layer of dark color along the edges on the inside of your fingers. Fingers as well as your hands and your arms. See how I just darkened that up a little bit? So that's gonna give the illusion that the hand is raising up off of the page. 